You know, in the real estate business, there's a lot of talk about ROI or return on investment. I think it's a word that I've had tattooed on my brain for many, many years. But the truth is ROI is just one way of running the math on a rental property. Now, if you work with a turnkey provider, that is one of the first metrics that you're going to learn about. This is because most turnkey companies are not able to offer financing on their properties huge difference between what we do at Morris Invest and what other turnkey companies do. Experienced investors are looking for IRR, not ROI. So stay with me. IRR is internal rate of return. So what is internal rate of return? Well, IRR simply is an annual rate of growth expected on the investment. That's it. Now, there are three streams of income to review in an IRR situation. Number one is cash flow. So what is your annual net cash flow return on this investment? This is how to determine how much cash ends up in your account at the end of the year. Number two, next is the principal reduction. Let's dive into some details on this for a minute. So you used financing for this investment, which I encourage all of our clients to do. That keeps more money in your own pocket. Interest rates are incredibly low. We work with over 60 different lenders. Why would you be using your own money? You should be using financing in addition to your own down payment. That's how you build wealth. Now, each month you need to make a mortgage payment, right? However, you are receiving rent each month from your tenant. And this money is actually paying down your mortgage every month. Number three, appreciation. This is the last one in this formula. Let's use a conservative 2% annual appreciation on your rental property. That is very conservative. Now let's look at this example on leveraging your money to purchase three new construction rental properties using financing. And that's what we do. We, we have new construction rental properties with financing built in. Okay, so let's look at the purchase price, 450. You've invested 150. Then you have a mortgage, $300,000 on the mortgage, right? Well, the monthly gross income, 3,900. That's $3,900 in this property from tenants coming in every month. Then the mortgage costs $1,600 a month, right? You have monthly property taxes, 600, insurance, 120, management expense at 8% with the property management team, and you, you know, monthly maintenance expense. We put 120 in there to be very conservative. I mean, it's new construction, so you're probably not going to have any maintenance for many, many years. Then you've got your monthly net cash flow. $1,110, right? That's what's going in your pocket after the mortgage and other expenses. Then your yearly net cash flow, 13,000. So your cash on cash return is 8.8%. It's a great return. However, we're also doing a principal reduction of $4,650 on your mortgage and the appreciation rate, a very conservative 2%. That's $9,000. So folks, what you should see is that 18%, right? It's very easy to get caught up on that cash on cash return of 8.8%. But I'm telling you, when you are a hedge against inflation, as the US dollar continues to inflate and is devalued, and when your principal reduction is being reduced thanks to a tenant, the important number you should be focusing here on is the IRR, the internal rate of return of 18%. So in a cash-based purchase model, ROI is the most important metric. And you probably even heard me say that before. But now my company is happy to offer multiple financing options that allow you to leverage your money for much bigger returns. And IRR is a more helpful metric. I hope this helped you gain a better understanding of IRR because when you add in that appreciation and the principal rate of reduction, that is the real number that I want you to focus on. For more on financing options, watch this next video right here on 10 ways to fund your next investment. We'll see you next time.